Hi everyone. Welcome again to the new session of the UI path. In this session, I will explain you how to use JSON inside our UI path. So, if you are new to this session, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with how we'll work with G Suite inside UI path. So, before starting with this, we will need two things, which is majorly required. Whenever we are working with the G Suite, first we we'll need packages to be installed inside our UI path. For installing packages, just click on Manage Packages. From the Manage Packages, you have to download uipath.gsuite.activities. After downloading, you are able to see all the activities that are available inside G Suite activities. So when I click on the Activities panel, I am able to see G Suite activities available inside my credential. Next thing we will need to have one Google account which you definitely create and the project which we are using. So let me show you how we can create a new project. So just click on the new project and enter the detail. So once you will click on the new project, you are able to see this panel to enter your project detail. So this is test demo. Just click on create. So once you'll click on the create button, the, your project will be created within a seconds. Now you can see it's authorized and now it's created. Let's select from here. So right now I am working inside the test demo project. Here you can see the library section contains different applications that are available. So we have to enable two things for performing these activities. So right now we are working with Excel sheet and Google Drive API. So first we need to click on Google Drive API and this we have to enable it. Once we will enable it, this will take some time for enabling. So main purpose of enabling this, we are going to use Excel sheet inside the Google Drive account. Because of that, we are enabling the component. Click Google API again and select library. Second thing we need to enable Google sheet. So here we have to select again Google Sheet and click on Enable tab. So don't worry about the link. I will mention this link inside my description tab. You can refer this for performing this action. So you have to visit to console.developers.google.com and you are able to see this screen is available. So the basic requirements are you have to be have Google account inside your Gmail or inside your system. Now we are we have enabled it all the components. Let's click on third thing. Third, we have to provide OAuthentication consent screen. So click on OAuth consent screen and click external. Once you click, it will create a Page, just enter here application name which you want to test. Test demo 2. Simply, we are not entering any of the details. If you have other details, you can add it and click on C button. So it will create a consent screen for us and we will use it for our demo. Next thing we will we need credential to be created. For creating any OAuth credential, we just have to click on create credential and select OAuth ID. Select the application name which you want to do it. Right now we are using desktop app because of that I am selecting here. So it's automatically Select it, you can change the name, otherwise you can keep it. 
now oauth client is created and this is our oauth client id and secret we'll use it for further inside our ui part so let's start with ui part component so after installing we are able to see g suit is available inside our activity panel just have to select g suit or search it from here now you can see g suit application scope is available here so for using all these activities we have to use inside this application scope otherwise it will not work it will not work there is a basically around 20 to 25 activities are available inside that you can use it all of this as per your requirement but all the activities will work inside this otherwise outside of this will not work because it is associated with that so once we will click on G Suite, we have to configure some components which is required. So click on configure. So now it's not showing. Let me drag other component and then we will do it. First, we will need one read range activity so that we will read the data one more component we will need to have is excel google sheet is available inside that i have entered some of the detail here this is the id and this is the employee name let me enter it here employee id And second is employee name. We will add a next row after this, and that data will fetch it in Excel sheet. So this Excel sheet we are going to use it in our demo. So let's configure the components which is required. Go to properties. Inside the properties, we have to enter client ID here in auth2. So, client ID will copy it from here. You can also create a variable with this name, but I am directly copying and pasting. But it's recommended to use it inside the variable. Click on OK. Second, we will need secret ID which we can copy it from here. Now, these all components are done. Uh, let me enter here timeout session otherwise by default it is taking 60 second so if you are working in the last set of data better to enter some timeout session so it will try to connect with your G suit account till that time otherwise it will throw an error showing timeout session or session timeout so for covering this we will enter here 10,000 as a timeout let's extract or drag and drop other activity which we which we will use it for finding so you can search it from here find 
files and folder so files and folder spreadsheet name we are going to provide here using exactly same name so you can copy and paste it from here So this is my spreadsheet name. Let's save the data in some uh, variable name so that it's easy to call it out in our program. So you can keep any name according to your requirement, but it's better to use me check here. We are keeping as one lakh. And second thing, we need to enter here some file name or by using variable name, we'll call the data. So let me create one variable on clicking control key and data ID. Now it's done. The data ID is completed. Enter same name here for reading range of the file so data id i am calling here i am not providing any range here so remove all this and sheet one is the required component so i am selecting include header because i i need the include header section as well so let's store this as a result id create one variable and inside that result id or we can store it as a result dt now we are done let's see how we can store into data table so select add data row in add data row we are taking from the data table format and we have to provide here as array detail so array detail we are going to enter here which data we want for our requirement so let me enter this then in fifth row i want some data to be populated let me check which yes fifth row five comma and second value second value i need the employee name so let me enter the name of the employee is Vankat. Now it's done. These data will need it, but again we need to store some thing inside this. So use this result as a data table name. Next we will need to have right range activity from Google Suite. Right range. drag and drop enter the spreadsheet id which is data id sheet we are using sheet 1 a and finally data table we are going to provide here as a result dt now you can see all the warnings are resolved so after doing all this we need to configure the scope as well so as you can see here i have selected spreadsheets and drive because we are going to use this components while updating the data so make sure to select this if you are selecting drive dot file it will not work and most important part when you are selecting always select this component read only will not work 
whenever you extracting many data that time it will work but read and write permission is required whenever entering a new data inside our sheet Now you can see that whenever execution is started, it will ask for the login and access a location. So once you will click on the login tab, if your browser is already logged in, it will not ask for the password. Otherwise, it will ask for your credential. Enter the credential, then it will ask again to allow the permission again there is a permission is required so cut for the permission for test demo 2 now receive verification code we may close now now its execution is completed execution is completed let's see the result inside our G Suite test file so as you can see here Fifth row is updated with the data and we have seen here all the components are available. So by this way we can add inside the excel file some data formats which is available. So let us recap this. We have started with enabling excel and G drive enabler so that we will use these components inside our test demo project we have created one project and after creating that we have created or 2 authentication method then finally created the secret code as well after that we have installed one activity or we have installed activity suit for the uipath which is g suit after installing this we are able to see all the G Suite activities available inside the activity panel and after using G Suite application scope we have created one program which will update our Google Sheet automatically after running the script. So this is all about how we can use it G Suite with UiPath. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this video consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.